car in the booth, all cleaned up. Say goodbye to the white. Gonna start taking some things apart. We gotta take out the tail lights, take off the rear diffuser, take off the badge, take out the license plate, take out the badge, take off the spoiler. Uh, this can stay. I think we're gonna take off the trim up here. Uh, those gotta come out. And then the whole front bumper is gonna come off along with that badge. And then we start wrapping. Just like any other art, building these cars becomes a form of expression. You start with a general idea in your head, a rough sketch that slowly over time shifts, grows, and matures as the process takes its course. I had no idea what color I wanted to go with initially for this project. I just knew it had to be bold, fresh, and unique. So how do you know if you made the right choice? The answer is you don't. As long as you took the initiative and built the car that you desired, that's all that really matters. I think we sat the bar really high with the F30. But this one, this one is up there with that wrap. It's time for you to meet Blue Raspberry by 3M. It's deep, it's bold, it's sophisticated, it's, well, it's blue. <laughs> but this blue is different. It has hints of purple and raspberry. Blue and purple are gorgeous in their own right, but together, together they are a symphony of perfection. So we wrap the car as you saw, it is 3M Blue Raspberry. It's very comparable to like a San Marino Blue with a little bit of purple and like raspberry hint in it. Honestly, it's a beautiful color. Like if I could buy the E90 in this color, I would. Some of you might say that it's close to an Interlagos Blue, but Interlagos is definitely a different shade of blue than this blue. We finally finished it. It took us three or four days of just constant wrapping and putting the car together. I have so many people that I have to thank for this project. Sensational. Those guys absolutely crushed it. Lewis's brother was in town, Anthony from Florida Vehicle Wraps. He was a huge help as well. As you guys saw, we also had Tread Connection come through and help us put on the Continental Extreme Contacts. They look so good. So these tires are a little bit different. I went with a bigger sidewall, they're 35s versus 30s. So we have a little more meat on the tires, which I think is gonna fare perfectly for this. You guys look at the wheel well. The fitment is like, it's honestly perfect with these tires. I really can't wait to drive the car and feel how these tires actually perform on the road. 
Huge thank you to Continental for coming on board with this project. Huge thank you to Variant Wheels. What do you guys think about the gold? The cool thing about the wheels is we have different options. So I have three sets of options. I have the black Variant Xenons that you guys have seen already, which I do think are gonna look really good. But I also had my original competition replicas refinished in silver. And I'll be honest with you, I think those are gonna look incredibly good on this car. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that the gold wheels are gonna be more of my show car setup. I think that the black wheels might be like my daily setup. And then the silver wheels are gonna be probably my track wheels. I don't know. I have to see how the silver wheels look on the car. Once I get them mounted on, I'm gonna order in some new tires from Continental. But once I get those silver wheels on, those might, those might become my dailies, I don't know. So in a minute here, I'm actually gonna line up the other wheels for you guys and show you them next to the car. But let's talk about all the work that was done here at Sensational on this wrap. We took out the hood vents, we took off the front bumper, we took out all the grills up front, we took out the side markers, we took off all of the trim around the windows, we took out the roof rails, we took out the trim around the windshield, we took off all the door handles, we took out the tail lights, we took off the rear spoiler, which I did black. Tell me what you guys think about the black, dude. I think the black was the move with this. It flows so well with this darker color. With the white, I was kind of on the fence because it was such a big contrast, but the black and the carbon works really, really well with this color because it's a little bit darker. It just flows very nice. So we took off the taillights, took off the badges, uh, the M3 badge and the rear diffuser, and then we finally wrapped the car. So this is actually 3M Blue Raspberry, and then we also did ceramic coating, a uh, base layer and a top coat. That's why it looks so glossy. So the other thing that I really, really like about this blue is the interior. The fox red with the black with this blue looks so good together. Also, we did black for the hood vents. So the whole theme that I had going on before with the black and the white, now everything is just kind of amplified. We have the black with the blue, but we added a little more black. And then I wanted to try and stand out with the wheels, especially for shows. That's why I went with the gold right off the bat. But I do think that I am gonna be switching this up. I don't know if I wanna be rolling on these all of the time. I think, honestly, it's gonna be black or silver for daily use. But you guys will see pictures of every single wheel combination on this color in the upcoming weeks and months. I'm constantly going to be changing it. I just wanna be able to keep the content fresh, keep the look fresh. So we'll be switching up the vibe a lot. For all you guys who are purists, you probably aren't a big fan of these wheels, and I totally understand that, but just wait till we get the silver ones on. I think you're really, really going to dig it. But yeah, you guys, comment down below and tell me what you think about this wrap. It looks so incredible. Like I said, it's very close to like a San Marino blue. The other color that I had picked out was a Yas Marino, so it was a much lighter blue, and I'm really, really glad that I went with this over that one, because that is way more popular. A ton of more people have that color. This one's a little bit more unique, and you have to see this in person because it has hints of purple and raspberry. While I'm looking at the camera right now, you can't really see a lot of the purple, but in person, the purple really stands out and it looks so good. It just sets the car apart from every other blue car out there. Also, I want to thank everyone who helped with this project. Keys Motorsports, Dynamic Auto Tune, Variant Wheels, Tread Connection came through to put the Continental tires on. Huge shout out to Continental for sending me these tires. And then last but not least, we have Sensational Tint Wraps and Detail that just absolutely killed it on this wrap. And if you guys are interested, make sure you check them out. I'm putting links to all of these companies down below that helped me out with this project. I'm so, so excited to have them on board and really just help these projects come to life. There's no way that I could do this without them. So thank you so much to everyone on board. And of course, you guys for watching and being a part of this journey. I'm really, really excited about this color. We have so many options. That's why I really like this. And there's gonna be a lot of people that really love the white. This may not be for them, but we can always go back to white. White is underneath the wrap, so it's being protected. We can always go back to the Alpine white. All right, so I'm gonna pull this car out of the booth and show you guys the different wheel setups. You're gonna have to tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about the gold. Tell me what you think about the black. Tell me what you think about the silver. The black looks really good. So obviously the gold, it pops, right? A lot of contrast. The black is very, very stealth. And I think I'm gonna daily with the black. The gold will just be for like import expo shows or like inside shows or bigger shows, bigger events. 
I want to do the gold just to keep it like kind of special. The black, dude, that looks good. So now I'm going to show you guys the silver. I'm going to show you what the silver looks like next. Oh, the silver though, dude, that silver is going to look so good. Oh, it's going to look so good. So you guys comment down below, which ones do you like better? Do you like the silver wheels, the black wheels, or the gold wheels? Three options. Like I said before, we're just going to be rotating them out, getting different shots, more content. These are actually my stock wheels that came on the car, and they're just like competition replicas, but they were black, and they were completely destroyed. Two of them were bent, they were curb rashed all around, and Prince Wheels refurbished them completely and had them done in OEM BMW Silver. You guys, comment down below and tell me which ones, which wheels do you like the best? We have options. I knew that the gold would be more of like an acquired taste, so I had to have options. I think the silver, I think the silver is gonna look really, really good. Like more classic OEM style, the silver looks sick, but the black is like really stealth, super stealth looking. They're all good, man. And then the gold is like super showy, kind of aftermarket-y. But this blue, everything works so well with this blue. It just looks so amazing. Just imagine, big brake kit. Ooh, it's gonna look so good. These wheels are not your standard bronze either. They're like a brushed metallic bronze or like a brushed finish to them. They're really, really interesting. They have like a dark, dark brown to them and then also like a lighter champagne. They're really, really cool. I think they look awesome on this car. They're just a little bit darker than like normal gold wheels. They complement that blue so well. Huge shout out to Keys Motorsports for sending me these wheels and variant wheels for partnering up. These things look sick. You guys can see a little more of the purple in here. Purple, raspberry-ish with the blue. God, it looks good. What an insane color. I'm so happy with this. Oh my gosh. I love the white, don't get me wrong, but this is just so much more interesting. What are you guys' thoughts on the black? I know a lot of you wanted a uh, carbon fiber or a black spoiler. I went with it. I went with the black. I don't know if it's going to stay. I might go back to the blue for the spoiler, but I'm, I'm good with it for right now. I think it's okay. Time will tell. But I'm really, really excited to get the black wheels on and the silver wheels on and kind of see how this thing changes up. So there you have it, 3M Blue Raspberry on the E90 M3. Super, super excited about this. Turned out so well. Thank you guys again. Everyone who's watching, all my subscribers, all the sponsors involved, absolutely killed it. Make sure you guys subscribe, comment down below, like this video, and hit that bell notification. Just like that, this video's over. And I'm out. Peace.